and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today is the final day of Mutt 10. The 10 years of Mutt Ultimate Team promo that literally started towards the beginning of the Madden year. It's went pretty quick, so, you know, we made a lot of progress. Think about it. It started, like... Sometime at the end of was it August, beginning of September, but we are now almost in November, last week of October. Things are really flying here. It's crazy. I feel like I just made that first Bo Jackson video like last week. We're on our 10th card. Today is the wild card day. If you guys don't already know, the Mutt 10 is a sequence of 10 weeks of 10 limited time legends that did replace the Saturday limited time legends. And uh, they've been pretty awesome. Top tier cards. And obviously, if you collected all 10 tokens, boys, today is the day you get your free Mutt 10 fantasy pack. Obviously, I screwed up. I missed one and I never played it again. But today is the wild card. I actually predicted it correctly, guys. You're not going to believe who it is. This guy makes his return to Mutt. It's unreal. I predicted it. Uh, Cradle tweeted out a hint, and surprisingly, I got it right. I had a feeling it was either that or Barry Sanders, but it was not Barry. Luckily, because I, I wasn't ready for Barry yet. The game is not ready for Barry. But, guys, hopefully, you played your solo challenges. Once you finish your last solo, you can collect your pack and go open it. I imagine somebody somehow EA is gonna mess this up. We're gonna have we're gonna need make rights for this. Just going off a limb there. I don't know. I don't know what the track record is of EA that I would even think that, right? But guys, I'm super hyped for you guys. You guys are gonna be enjoying. Make sure to comment down below who you're gonna be taking, guys. In my opinion, I'm gonna go over real quick who I would take out of this after I go over all the stats. So stay tuned for that. If you guys aren't sure who to take, stay tuned to the end of the video. I will be going over all the stats of the cards that I think you should be taking. I'll give you my top three options. And I'll give you some in-depth analysis. So you might want to stay tuned for all that. But guys, before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. Come join the family. We're almost at 11K. You guys have been killing it with the support. Comment down below who you plan to take from this pack. If you think the grind was worth it. And also, give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Last week of Mutt 10, everyone everyone watching the smash the like button. It'll mean a lot. It'll help out the channel tremendously. All loyal, all G's. OG or OG supporters help the channel hit that like button boys and let's head over to Twitter to go check out those stats real quick all right guys so we're over on Twitter we got the Troy Palomalu card guys we never thought we'd see this guy in Madden again we've been waiting years for this guy I remember back in the day like Madden 13 in those days when he was actually in the game for a while he was one of the most fun cards to have awesome stats now the only issue so far with this Troy Palomalu the only issue that I have with this Palomalu he's a strong safety and that sucks because we do have our 96 Pat Tillman so Theoretically, guys, the worst choice from this Mutt 10 promo might actually be Troy Palomalu, which does suck. I'm going to go over the stats anyways for all the Troy Palomalu fans. And it sucks because, like, you want him, but it's going to be so hard to just take him. 93 overall. He's got a new-looking archetype. I've never actually seen that. He probably has it already. It's dark and light. Don't know what that means. Two sides of the ball. I'm not really sure. Limited time. Training. This is from Madden 25. Wow. Feels like a while ago since I played Madden 25. Troy Palomalu, 5'10". He's a little bit on the smaller side. Um, 90 speed, 92 excel, that's awesome for a safety. 88 tackle, 93 play rec, 92 pursuit. 79 man coverage, 71, 90, 71. 91 zone coverage, 83 hit power. So the hit power is a little low. The zone coverage is awesome, the speed's awesome, the excel's awesome, but he does look like a watered down Pat Tillman. And that's pretty obvious because Pat Tillman, with chems and everything, is like a 96 overall. So being a watered down Pat Tillman, obviously that was a, that was, that's potentially what we always expected with uh, Trey Palomalu. So, do I like this card? The speed's great. Excel's great, tackling is great, play rec's great, pursuit's great, zone's great. Hit power's a little bit low. He kind of is gonna be stumped by Pat Tillman in that sense. You have to see the other off-card stats, like maybe something crazy that could really benefit him. I'm not entirely sure. But it's looking like Pat Tillman beats him, guys. I'm super excited for you though, because you know what this means, right? This is it. Like once you get through this part and you go play your solos, boys, it's ready for you guys to go collect your bag. What you guys have worked all this time for, you guys have gotten your solos done for, you can finally enjoy and take your limited time. Kind of scared to how many limited time cards are gonna be. Uh, I don't imagine you'll see too many Palomalus. The only issue right here, right, is people are going to be enticed to take Palomalu just because it's Palomalu. But other people who are smart enough to know that it's probably not the smartest choice. He might be one of the worst choices. The hit power, if it's not above a 90, he doesn't compete with uh, Pat Tillman. He didn't compete with Pat Tillman anyways. But not being a 90 kills you, and you really don't want to have two of them. Unless you're going to put him, like, at cornerback or something, which I don't recommend. But still awesome that we have him back in the game. I wish I would have put him at, like, free safety so we could have used him. That would have been, been an awesome pick for a lot of people. But... Guys, Troy Palomalu, back in the game finally. The hint was a picture of Barry from the B-Move. You guys ever seen that? People were thinking Barry Sanders, but I didn't think this game was ready for Barry. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'll gladly take Barry then, but right now, too soon, I'm not ready. My coins aren't ready. Nothing's ready for Barry Sanders yet. So we got to wait a little bit for that, and then they can release the human joystick. 
that, that he's gonna probably get that cam and he's gonna be unreal but we have time for that now let's head back over to the man screen i'll show you guys the choices so you guys can make the best choice for your mutt template all right guys back in the man screen personally what would i recommend for you guys first off don't even wait don't even imagine you missed the last week don't um, just i don't want to fathom that come over to madden ultimate team 10 come on over here Go to the neutral, so let's say Troy Palomalu, week 10, whatever. Go play that, get your power. Remember, if you're one of the first people to finish the power-up thing for Troy Palomalu, you could probably sell his power for like 20K. So go get your Palomalu power-up, go sell them, get your coins, boys, cash out. You're gonna come over here to sets, go put in every token, the final wildcard token. Now, give you guys a quick little overview of what you could be checking out for today, potentially, with this free pack. I hope you guys are hyped. I'm hyped for you guys. I'm kind of sad, because once I click, and once I, once I end record this and I put it up, I'm gonna be sad, everyone's gonna have a limited time online. Well, let's go check this out. Program, Mud 10. Just going to recap for all you guys who haven't seen the video on this. We got Willis, Vic, Bo Jackson, Calvin, Rob Gronkowski, Joe Thomas, Julius Peppers, Deion Sanders, Randy Moss, and eventually Troy Palmer. Now, my top options, right? I don't think Willis is an option. I don't. His power is very similar to him, and quite honestly, too many good middle linebackers. Michael Vick, I think, is an option because you might want to have Michael Vick all year. I, think one of, I don't think Bo Jackson's not an option, in my opinion. Unless you want to get him now so that when Christmas, if he gets a cool card, you can upgrade him more. It's up to you guys. Personally, I don't think Bo Jackson's much of an option right now for me. I don't think Calvin's an option, right? Awesome card, but the hit power's too low. Tackle's too low. Pursuit's too low. Acceleration's too low. Man's too low. Zone's good, but most free safeties can hit that. And the speed's good, but again, I'd, have, I'd rather have my Brian Dawkins. Rob Gronkowski is an option. I don't think he's the best option by far, but... He's still a very cool option to take. Uh, Joe Thomas, I do not believe, is an option. If you compare him to Anthony Munoz, it's pretty cut and paste here that Anthony Munoz is very, very close in some stats, and I just don't think you justify taking a limited time card in replacement of that. But moving on to the next uh, card, we got Julius Peppers. A lot of people were trashing me for saying Julius Peppers isn't up there. Guys, I'm going to be quite honest with you. I'm not saying the card's bad, but you can get other ends with similar stats. My Cameron Jordan quite literally beats him everywhere almost besides athleticism that's about it and power move i don't care because he has finesse move because he has power move it's literally just athleticism and i'm not gonna pay all that for a little athleticism when you can just get like a lawrence taylor and put him there and have the same stats you guys get what i'm saying i mean you guys if you like julius peppers no 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 harm no foul but i personally wasn't me randy moss and dion are the final two that i think are options so randy moss obviously being the greatest wide receiver of all time most likely at least one of them up there with rice and all them he is definitely up there he's a he's one of the greatest matt madden receivers of all time and then Dion. now Dion is up to you guys because Dion is really similar to denzel ward but Dion has the zone threshold and he will get more upgrades so in my opinion it comes down to Dion, randy even take out gronk i think it comes down to Dion, randy vic and that's it right Dion, randy and vic i think Dion, randy vic gronk are the top options now in that order i think randy and Dion are the top options i don't think that i would take Gronk or Vic over them because Vic's cheap. Vic's like 600, 800. So you can get Vic the limited time for 600 carry now, as you guys can see. And he can get his Redux for even cheaper. So I'm not going to go on Vic. Remember, guys, these cards won't retain their value. Going into the next series, which is Series 3, which should be starting about next Friday, they're going to get Redux cards. They're going to come down. So don't think that, don't just take the guy with the highest value because they're going to come down. But in my opinion, I think Dion and Randy are the best two options. If you have a lot of cornerbacks in that already, do not go Dion, obviously. But I think Dion's an endgame card. You want him all year. Crazy catch animations. It's like having a wide receiver at cornerback. Plays amazing. I love Dion, but then Randy Moss also be. I think these are the two top options, in my opinion. Um, from a receiver standpoint, I mean, this isn't the year of the passing, most pass heavy. If I had a choice right now, I'd probably go Dion Sanders because I'm a huge Dion fan. I love having Dion out there. I'd probably go Dion, me personally. But for other teams, if you're pass heavy, you like abilities on your wide receivers, double me, Moss, go Randy Moss, by all means. Um, they're both great. They're both awesome. I think that Dion might have a little more to offer, but I think those are the two top. You got to go with either Randy or Dion. Obviously, if you have theme teams, preferences, favorite players of all time, Troy Palomalo, whatever, but I don't think Palomalo is an option, in my opinion. For a, if, if you're rich and you just want whatever you want, go ahead. But I think personally, for efficiency, no money spent, saving coins, you got to go. You can't go Palomalo. You can't. You, you, have, you have your 96, or in most people's cases, 90 plus Pat Tillman. It's just not worth it. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I hope this helps you guys. to give you some options. Give you guys a little tips what to do real quick. Um, yeah, that's about it. I gave you guys all the stats. I gave you guys everything. Uh, I went over everything. Covered everything. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, I'm out of breath, guys. I'm a little out of breath. I know. The lights are hot. I was just playing some COD. I didn't even realize the time I had to run over here. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, boys. Turn on that noti bell. Make sure to go down below. 
Come join the family, boys. We're getting to 11K to the next big milestone, 20K. Comment down below who you're planning to choose and give some feedback on why you're choosing them so you can help out the comments if people are kind of stuck on the like, middle of the fence and who to get. And give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Final week of Mudtown. We grind it every week. Got your video every week. The least you can do is smash this like button. Let's get this video to 400 likes. Kill the like button, boys. That's all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being awesome. Keep up the daily support. Check out the other four videos coming today, guys, and that's it. I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.